going to take a look at a legal problem called word break number two. So given a string S and a dictionary of strings word dict, um, add spaces in S to construct a sentence where each word is a valid dictionary word, return all such possible sentences in any order. So know that the same word in the dictionary uh, might be reused multiple times in the segregation. So basically what it means is that we can be able to use the words in the dictionary multiple times to form different uh, combinations, right? So you notice that we're returning a list of string. So in this case, you can see here, I can be able, be able to uh, take the string, right? This is our string, this is our string input. Like I can be able to form, or I can be able to split between here. So between cat and the rest of the string, and I can also split the string right here. You can see I have cat, send, dog, cat, send, and dog. They all contain in the dictionary. So that's one combination, right? And what I can also do is I can also form cats, which is also contained in a dictionary. And is also contained in a dictionary. Dog is also contained in a dictionary. So you can see here, this is also another combination, right? So in this case, you can see here, we're returning a list of string which contains all the combination that we can generate that has all the words in the dictionary. Um, and then we're basically adding a space um, uh, be between those words, right? To form where all the characters in the strings are in the in S, right? Uh, in, except the spaces. But basically you can see we can be, be, be able to uh, construct a sentence using each word in the dictionary, right? So in this case, you can see here, um, we can also have another example, right? We have uh, pie, pie, apple, pin, apple, right? So pineapple, pin, app, pin, apple, or something like that. So you can see here, I can basically split between pine, right? So pine that's is contained here. Apple is also contained here. Pin is also contained here, and an apple is also contained here. So note that you are allowed to reuse a, dic a word in the dictionary. So I can reuse. Apple multiple times, right? Um, so, and I can also have pineapple, which is also in the dictionary, right? I can also have, uh, let's see, pin and apple, right? Pin apple, right? So it's in the dictionary. And uh, you can see here, I can also have pine and apple pin and apple, right? So you can see pine, apple pin, apple, apple, apple pin, Pine, right? So they're all contained in a dictionary. So these are all three combinations that we can generate. And again, at the end, we return in a list of string. Now, another example you can see here is cats, uh, cat, send dog. But you can see here that there, uh, there's cats, right? And there's end, right? So if we have cats, and but the, the rest of them is OG, there's no OG in here, right? So we cannot be able to form a combination. In this case, if I split here, so in this case, I have cat and I have send, right? In this case, that's not gonna work. So in this case, we still have OG at left and OG is not in the dictionary. So therefore there is an empty list, right? We cannot be able to generate anything, right? So in this case, how can we be able to solve this problem? So let's say in this case, uh, the brute force approach, right? In this case, if we want to solve this problem using a brute force approach, basically what we're trying to do is we're trying to split each and every single position, right? So if I put a line right here, right? I check to see if this character it contains in the word dictionary. In this case, it doesn't, right? So we continue. So I split here. I check to see if this char if this string right here contains in the dictionary. In this case, it doesn't. So then I split here. I check to see if this string contains contains in the dictionary. In this case, it does. Okay. So once I know that this string right here, this part of the string contains in the dictionary, then I also basically do the same thing, right? Or in this case, for the remaining substrings, right? So for the remaining substrings, I have sand. So I have sand dog, right? And then for send dog, I do the same thing. I split here. Is there S in the, in the in the dictionary? In this case, it doesn't, right? And then I split here. I check to see if, if S A is in, in, in the dictionary. If it, in this case, it doesn't. S A N doesn't. So all the way up to here, in this case, you can see we have send 
in our dictionary. Okay, so then what we do is we do the same thing for the remaining substrings, right? So in this case, we have DOG. So in this, in this case, D, we don't have it. DO, in this case, we also don't have it in our dictionary. DOG, we do, right? So in this case, what we're gonna do is we're going to add this as one combination, right? There could also be other combinations, maybe in the, in the dictionary, there's also a string of do, right? So DO, so in this case, what we were turning back is a list of combinations that we can generate. So you can see here, after we know that dog is, or in this case, for this substring, uh, the total possible sentence that we can generate is DOG, right, in a list. Then in this case, we know that SAND, right, SAND is also in a dictionary. So this will be a one combination, right? So in this case, what we're gonna do is we're going to add a combination, so which is S, A, and D, with a space, right, and a DOG, right? And then you can see here, this is one combination. So you can see here, we can also um, put a, or in this case, we can try to uh, split between S, A, and D, D, right? So I can also split between here, right? S, A, and D, D is not a, it's not in the dictionary. S A N D O is not in the dictionary. S E N D D O G is not in the dictionary. So in this case, uh, we just have to return this only this one combination, right? So in this case, you, you can see here, once we know that there's this one combination for this substring, right? This is the list of them. Then you can see we're just going to uh, concatenate the cat appended onto here, right? So in this case, this is our list, right? So that's, that's like one combination, right? You can see every single string uh, or every single word is separated with a space, right? So in this case, you can see I can also split here, right? And I know that for this string, right, I can also split here, right? And then you can see we're basically doing this DFX, uh, DFS, right? So I have A and D, D, O, G left, right? So in this case, I split to see if this is contained in the substring or the contained in the in the dictionary. Up to here, we know that A and D is actually in the substring or in the in the dictionary. So then we do the same thing for the remaining substring, in this case DOG. But you can see that DOG is already contained, is already computed before, right? We know that total number of combinations that we can generate for DOG is just one. And then there's this one list right here. So what we can do is that we can basically use some kind of like caching to cache this, right? And just like this, we're just going to return a list of combinations that we can generate, which is just dog. And then here we know that and, right, A and D is contained in dictionary. So it's basically just gonna be uh, returning one combination, which is just, you know, A and D space, right, DOG, right? Which, which is basically a list only contains one element. In this case, we're gonna return back. We know that cats is contained in the word dictionary. And this one right here is also uh, in the, uh, in this case, it's actually in the uh, dictionary, which is also a valid combination. So we're gonna combine that, right? So that's one combination. And then we keep splitting, we, we, we split here, right? So in this case, here, 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 and they're not like all, they're, all of them are not valid combination. So at the end, we basically just returning the list that we have, right? Because like here, they're not in a, comp they're not in a dictionary. Here, they're not in a dictionary. Here is they're not in the dictionary. This substring is not in the dictionary. And so does this one, right? So at the end, we all the way to the end, all, to, all the way to the very end, checking the entire word to see if this word is in the dictionary. In this case, they're not. Then we're just going to return what we have, right? To the to the uh, the function. So that's basically how we solve the problem, but there's also a couple of base cases, right? So let's say we're, we're dealing with a situation like this, right? So, so in this case, you can see if I draw this, right? I know that if I split here, there's no C in the word dictionary, and then I split continue up to cats or cat first. I know that cat is contained in dictionary. So I have S, A, and D, O, G, right? That's the remaining substring that we're checking, right? So, and then we know that we split here, 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 all the way to send. We know that send is contained in dictionary. So in this case, we're, you know, we, we got OG left, right? So O is not in the dictionary, G is not in the dictionary, like an empty list, right? So in this case, what we doing, what we have to do is that if we're returning empty list and we know that the remaining substring is not a is not a empty string, right? Then what we have to do is that we have to return a you know empty or in this case we're not we have to continue to split, right? 
or try with other combination. Maybe we're, we're trying to see if S-A-N-D-O uh, contain a dictionary. In this case, S-A-N-D-O is not, right? S-A-N-D-O-G is not in the contained dictionary. So therefore we, we have to return an empty list back to the root saying that this substring, there's no combination we can generate, right? So in this case, what we're gonna do then is we're gonna backtrack. We're gonna try to split here. In this case, we know that cats is in a dictionary, so we're gonna go for A and D O G. We know that A and D is also in a dictionary. So we check the remaining substrings. In this case, we already know, we already compute that OG is not, there's no combination we can generate for OG. We can basically cache this. So we're gonna return an empty list. So in this case, we know that, hey, N is in the word dictionary, but the, the size for this substring right here is actually more than zero. So in this case, uh, and there's no co combination we can generate. So we have to try with other combination, right? So maybe we can split maybe like between uh, this one, right? So in this case, this is not in the substring where this is not in the dictionary. And then we check the remaining sub, uh, the, the entire substring in this case, or the entire string or the entire substring. Uh, there's no word in the dictionary. So we have to return an empty list. And therefore you can see here, we're basically just returning empty list, right? Um, so you can see here, what I did first is I basically put this in the hash set, right? This dictionary in the hash set, I convert this string to an array and then we're calling this DFX function, right? DFS function, we basically go from a top-down approach. And then you can see here, I have a cache. Uh, the, the, the key is basically a string and then the value is basically a list of string. So what I did here is I basically check to see if this is an empty string, right? Then we can just return an empty list. Uh, that's kind of like our base case there. And then what we do is that we have our string builder, right? And then we have our result that we're gonna return for this recursion stack. And then you can see here, the key is basically just gonna be like the index, right? So index right here is zero, zero, right? Or zero, five, or not zero, zero, but like zero, five, or zero to 10, or something like, right? We basically check and see for this entire string from starting from the start to the end, how many combinations we can generate. And that's what this function is trying to return. And you can see here that um, I basically first check to see if this is our key, right? We check to see if this contains it. If it doesn't contain our cache, so uh, if it does contain our cache, we would return that. If it doesn't, we're gonna iterate through all this, all the combinations, right? All the splits that we can generate. In this case, if I split between C and A, right? If I split between, uh, you know, A and T, right? Which in this case, we basically check, right? So we append each and every single character onto the string builder. We convert it into a string. And then we check to see if the dictionary contains this current string. Um, if it doesn't, we continue. If it does, what we're gonna do is we're gonna call this DFX function, right? This DFS function returns the list of remaining strings, right? That we can, or total, uh, or all the strings that we can generate uh, for the remaining strings, right? For the remaining substrings, the re a total, all the combinations that we can generate for the remaining strings. And then what we do is we do our check here, right? Just like our third example that we just talked about, right? If, um, you know, if the size of the remaining substring is more than zero and there is no combinations we can generate, then we have to continue because we can we have to use all the strings that we have, right? So, but in this case, if this is not the case, then what we have to do is we have to generate, get all the, or generate all the combinations, right? Because there could be a situation where there are multiple combinations. So I can have like maybe A and D, cat or something, right? And I can also have a n d cat, right? Or I can have like something like a space and d cat, something like that. And then I have just one, in this case, dog, right? This is like, dog is like the, the, uh, the start, right? The kind of like our current string and then these are all the combinations. So basically what we're trying to do is we're trying to generate all of them and then add it onto the result list. So that's basically what we're doing. And you can see here, if the remaining substrings length is zero, in this case, we just have to add the current string, right? So at the end, you can see here, once we form all the, all the combinations for the current substring, um, we're gonna 
uh, save it in our cache and returning the results, right? So this is basically like kind of like what I did for my initial uh, solution. Now let's take a look at kind of like a cleaner solution, right? So cleaner solution is kind of similar to what I did, but um, basically you can see here, what I did is I have, well, same thing, I have a set, right? I insert it onto a, onto a hash set. And then in this case, I have a map, right? This hash map is basically using as cache, right? And then you can see here, there's many ways you can cache this. You can use like indexes to as a key, or you can also use like a kind of like a, um, a prefix of a string as a key, right? So you can see here for this BFX function, right? We same thing, we're returning a list of strings that this current string uh, can generate, right? All the combinations of sentences that this current string can generate. And first, what we do is we check to see if it can already be cached. If it's cached, we cache that we return that. And then what we do is we create our list. And then if the string.length, right, if this is an empty string, like if, if our string right now, our substring is empty, then we're just returning a list with only containing empty string, right? Now, the reason why we do this is because you can see here at, at here, right? Like this is what we're calling this. And then this is a list of substring. We have to, if if there's only, if, uh, if their current string, right? If our current string is actually contained in the word dictionary, like let's say if our current string is cat and cat is contained in the word dictionary. So we also have to iterate through that word cat right we all not not iterating but like we basically have to add cat onto the result so in this case if i have an empty string right if this is a if this is uh so in this case if the list sub list right so the sub list is basically this one right here sort of sub sub string is empty string right then we can just have this right otherwise we can just have a space Right, and then we just append it. If it's an empty string, of course, then we basically just have this word itself, right? If it's not an empty string for our substring, in this case, what we're going to do is we're just going to uh, add a space and then plus the, uh, the the current combination, right? So in this case, we're just going to save it onto the results, and then we save it on the cache, and then we return the result, right? So you can see here, it doesn't really matter which solution you go with, um, either the cleaner cleaner one or the little more messy one, but Basically, at the end, the time complexity is still going to be exponential, right?